All right, YouTube, we're here for another video of Jeskai, based off Zach Allen's list from the Pro Tour. We got the No Land Heater. Playing against the same guy we just got paired against in our last league. But on the bottom, I think it's Mr. Mono Red. Our opponent kept a good six on the play. It's going to be tough to win. Well, my stream looks like it's dropping frames. Should have played a blue land there. Yeah, hold on, everybody, while we're dropping frames. All right, no play from our opponents. Nice. But it could just mean they've got a bunch of burn spells they are sitting on. I got at least a lightning strike. The sell the wreckage might not be that bad because they likely don't. I mean, they don't have main deck bane fire. If I had to assume, we're just going to negate anything here. Like even with the option of frenzy. I just can't be taken. Can't be taking that much damage. <clears throat> Punished. All right, land from the plan tap. We're probably going to get more out of this Clarion than just a 1-1. One, one. Untapped land there would have been nice. I probably have to Clarion now. Because this checks this. Oh, I think we're just gonna. I think I'm actually gonna do this. I think we're gonna need to continue to hit land drops and then gain life off of this crackling drake. Oh, we're not going to be able to gain life off the Drake because of this fanatical firebrand. <coughs> what a tilt. Forgot about that. Man, this firebrand's annoying. If I hit a land, I can settle the wreckage. No, I can't. That's not how math works. Unfortunately, I've got to trade off the board here. And then I'm going to play Search for his Canta. Yeah, I think we're just going to go. And the reason that I didn't do that before combat was because they would just ding my uh, ding my Drake with this firebrand, and I wouldn't get in the point, which is what they're going to do right here. Though they might ding me. I probably should have given them the option to ding my uh, crackling Drake to keep me at above four life total. Yeah, they're just gonna go for me. Mm. 
yeah, I feel kind of stupid now for that reason. So I just made a mistake there. Now I just have to hope this frenzy is like all time bad. One, two, three, it's another frenzy. <clears throat> No, they just blew it up. No, because they got the Wizards Lightning. Yeah, I think I punted. Because it could have been at four, not had my Drake. Yeah, I think I just I think I punted in that match. Because being at four is, is obviously much better than being below four. This, cut 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 this. I think I'm gonna leave in one more way to win. I've been noticing that we've been a little a little light on those in some of these games. We'll try it over the side of the wreckage. I kinda wanna cut the side of the wreckage anyways. We may only get a second expansion explosion, especially the Golgari decks are looking to get bigger. <coughs> but it's like easily the worst one in there. Yep, Mulligan. Yeah, it's a pretty good six. Just get nothing but lands. That's what we're looking for. I'm actually going to put this on the top because it's a redraw to a land that will help pump our Crackling Drake. I'm going to do it on the main phase in case I hit a tap land. Put it on top. Yeah, I'm not going to use this Clarion, just a G2 Lava Monitor. Okay, come on, land. Nice. All right, we're doing it. Mana. It's like a rekindling phoenix. It's gotta be a rekindling phoenix. Not gonna block the lava runner because they just bounce and they can kill our thing. Wow, already a frenzy. Hopefully, I hit in a gate or hit another land here for a gate. All right. Well, we're just gonna use this to pop a frenzy for nothing and then I will get into damage. It's so interesting, like their hand must be so bad for them to do that. Or they were just assuming that it was gonna get dealt with. So now we're gonna clarion on so I might just play another Drake. We're at a pretty high life total. I really don't want that Steamkin to get out of control. Because if they go like K2 
kill you, Lyra. Then all of a sudden, I'm taking six. Like, when I could just take two cards here. And then try to maybe set this Lyra up with Counterspell back up. Because we aren't under any pressure. I can negate like a frenzy here. Daredevil into opt. Okay. These ops are pretty nice. For our these Daredevils have been nice for our opponent these two games. I could also just jam Niv as well next turn. To put a card on top. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna play this Niv, because if they try to deal with uh, Niv, then like their Daredevil dies. Like dealing with this thing in combat is gonna be awful. And they can just probably out frenzy it. I get to pick this off. And now I can play Lyra with Counterspell back up. Oh man, we have another one too. And hopefully this shuts the door. I'm going to negate this because we have another Lyra. And even if they fight with fire this one, we have a substitute. <clears throat> and like that experimental frenzy could overpower our Lyra. Yeah, they are kind of getting beat up here. But they beat me up in game one. All right, yeah, let's keep it up. So we're going to have to be pretty... Um, we're going to have to be pretty conservative with our mulligans. This round, on the draw, we can't just be loosey-goosey. Yeah, so I don't have a plan. This for the past few weeks. This is Moro's decks. There's new black decks against control mirrors. But yeah, this guy's pretty cool. Well, I mean, yeah, you're just a dog in all the control mirrors because you don't have this card, right? Like, there's, like, you get the Eldest Reward, which means you can, in a roundabout way, get your own niv Mizzet. But I feel like if you don't play niv Mizzet, then you're just a dog in the mirror. I'm going to keep this hand. I've got a negate. I've got two lands and two cards that are really good and a good late game. If we can just survive. Draws our six drop. We just need to see some lands here. All right, nice. I'm likely gonna snap this Clarion off on anything. Like, I think that we've got to get under our opponent here. Or not get under him, we just have to like, save ourselves some damage. Risk factor. Um, I think I'm just going to take it this time. I 
And I'm just going to deal with this now. We saw we saw yesterday, earlier today how just trying to set this up on the draw just didn't work. So just got to clear in, to be honest. Chromium feels much better than Nev. I think you're in the minority of Chromium being much better than Nev. Yeah. Uh, I'm just going to get this guaranteed off the battlefield, I think. Just trade. Hopefully we can get up. Like they can play, they could play a frenzy here, which would be bad. Pyromancer. Land would be so nice. Shalai is pretty sweet. Because Shalai means that if we hit a land next turn, the Shalai gets lifelink. <coughs> All right, we gotta pray to God for a land. Uh, we're not. We're going to attack with the Shalai because we don't want to block with it. Yeah, we really don't want to block with the Shalai because the Shalai is turning off burn spells. Are you just five being a dog for this guy? Yeah, I think you're just a dog, Jess guy. Because the Jess guy is better mana with the counter spells. So that's going there. Okay. Got better mana with better counter spells because, like, you know, this being blue red is, you know, better than the blue blue. All right. We got the twofer. Now we're just going to bounce. Then I'm just going to jam this Lyra. Hopefully things work out. Um. Jeez. I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna keep my life total high. Like this means that there's like there's two burn spells that can kill me. This means they need like a four pointer. And we're just gonna slam this. Because if we untap with this, we untap with this and two counter spells, we're good. And like And we're just shipping in with this Lyra. I'm just gonna give my opponent the cards. You do this now, you can't let me untap. Yeah, we're not gonna be in wizard lightning or die mode, so you can draw the cards. Don't have two wizards lightning, please don't have two wizards lightnings. Oh, come on. Come on. I 
I don't know if that's actually beatable or not, but. I think I'm just going to play Nav. Attack here. Like, if, if they play spells, they're just going to die. And, like, we can't stop a Banefire on our Lyra. But at least our Banefire will pick off this... Vera Shiro Pyromancer. This right here, this card and is why Jeskai is better. Because this card just goes over the top. It's just good in all situations. Like it's not great here, but like it means that if my opponent's gonna try to kill this Lyra, that we're gonna get this, draw a card and or we can get this. So where is this going? It's going at us. Yeah, this right here is the the stones. All right, there's that. They do get to go off here. I guess we go like this so that they cast another spell. We get to pick this thing off. Come on, brick. Oh, they're not going to brick. Please, brick. Come on. Oh, they hit a bane fire. <sighs> no way. Oh, this card is so frustrating. They hit like what? I don't know. They hit nine points off the top. So they're not they're not doing it. Are they just trolling me? Yeah, they're just trolling me. They're just trying to get me to concede here. I think. Uh Something went wrong. They're just floating six months now. Yeah, they did just bluff. Huh. Get rid of that. And then we just kill them. <laughs> yeah, they were just, they were, yeah. They were just trying to get me to concede. What a troll. What a troll, that one felt good. I hate people that do stuff like that on Moto. I'm gonna go grab a beer because of that guy.
I would not. I would not say float six mana in paper and then pass with expansion and pull from tomorrow. I'm talking about like them just floating six mana and then just like waiting and hoping I conceded. I would like to play first. Um, we will keep this hand. We need to hit land drops. Having two of these is not perfect. Opponent moles. Yeah, that sounds like the nut. All right, playing against Golgari already. I've been having more problems with this matchup than I should be having. Which frustrates me a tad. Jade Light Ranger. Yield through this to him. Nice. I'll try to get a twofer with this and then hold up. Because I don't want to get Vivian. Because <clears throat> I don't like getting Vivian ranged. All right, so they drew that. They're keeping that on top. Okay. So we're just going to get the two here because then I can just kill this branch walker. Midnight Reaper. Nice. That's what my lava coil's for. Oh, bonfire. So we know two out of their five cards. And now we're just gonna slam this this nib and hope they don't have another one. We could be in trouble. Like, racing a Carnage Tyrant is not easy. If they had another Vivian, it'd be on the table already. So. All right. Choops. Choops is a beaten. Into Trophy. Gross. I could take the two for one, but I think I'm just going to. I'm going to wait. I'll take the five because I want to be able to shoot a Doom Whisperer if they play it. I feel stupid. This is a Carnage Tyrant or Vivian Reed. Well, I'm glad we didn't play our Niv. There's the old Carney boy. This game is going to get difficult. Oh. I think I need my Settle the Wreckage to win this game. I'm fairly certain settles my only out.
Then I have to play this. Because um, I gotta make it so I can't win if that Vivian goes ultimate. I don't. That's why we played this to make it so it went down. I literally need settle the wreckage, and they can beat settle the wreckage because they can just attack with this. What a beating. Yeah, that's why, like, I don't know how good this matchup is. Because, like, I think it's good. But, like, the people that tell me that, like, this Jeskai deck just destroys Black Green. Leaves me. Leaves me wondering. So, let's get Nova. And then I usually cut... Cut the searches. Try to cut a couple crackling drakes. And like. I like cutting these ionizes. Because the ion the creatures, while the creatures are annoying, I feel like I mostly lose to the spells. And I just need a timely counter spell for like a chupacabra actually i probably can cut one niv bring this back in because like niv's not as good in this matchup this is where i would like a dive down when i was watching zach talk about this he said that he cut chemistry or like ari said that he cut his chemistry's insights which the more i play this matchup the more i don't like having these crackling drakes and i like having these insights because of like Vivian, like Vivian Reed just destroys. And I try to make Vivian as bad as possible. That's why I cut some flyers. If I don't flip my surge quickly, then you just like then I just don't do anything. That's hands pretty solid. This card is nice in this matchup. I don't think that there's anything that I'm going to want to hit next turn. I know that when I watched Ari's article, Ari cut one. Yeah, the explosion is explosion is the nut here. It's, I think I think the modern challenge was today. There goes my explosion. That was an I guess that was an argument to playing an untapped land was copying this. I could have hit a Vivian. Yeah, that was a pun. two lands. Not much. Monarch was great. I get to snap or man and not feel bad about it. Not much freed mania. We're just getting beat up by the rock here. I really don't want to kill this when I can just sweep it up with a clarion. Kill it. Because if they take this, they play a Midnight Reaper. Then I'm still going to get two for one. To ferry off the top would be nice. To 
Fairy would not be as nice. I played some uh, rock for our standard turn earlier. Spent the top 400 each. Ugh. Yeah, that's not bad. Oh, there's a Golgari Queen, I'll keep that. There's the forest, we know. Just gonna fuel this Golgari Queen, but I'm gonna take this now because it's just a Again, I'm a little weak to a Carnage Tyrant, but I don't really want to take eight. God, if I could snap a negate off here, it'd be sweet. I was talking to Johnny the other day with the SCG. He said we had an extra spot at SCG Con. Yeah. Yeah, you should talk to. Um, I don't know what your name, Freed Mania, now, but you should talk to Micah. We have a. We, we were looking, if you know who Micah is. Yeah, we are on a bit of the struggle bus right now with these, these lands. This is where we need like an explosion. Like an explosion would get us back in it. A star of extinction would be sweet. Nine. It's not going well. I don't even think I'm going to counter that because we literally need a Wrath or a Star of Extinction to win this game. The guys are arguing the same decisions. So, you know, Johnny. They're free made. Do we know each other? Like have we met outside of outside of the stream here? So I need a Alright, I'm going to counter this because if I hit what I want to hit, having this plays me back. No, we haven't. SCG is greater than the Magic Pro Tour. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I think this officially leaves me on a no outer. Because we already used our Settle the Wreckage. Yeah, we're dead. That was just a comically poor game to draw, which sucked. So do you know Johnny outside of uh, outside of Magic there, Mr. outside of Twitch there, Mr. Freedmania? I live in Florida. He was not around place for GG Tampa, which I'd be down for. So you two, you two know each other. That never happens. Yeah, I mean, we also, our draw was lackluster. <coughs> Hopefully we can rattle off these next four here, though. All right, it's pretty sweet. A little slow on the draw. All right, playing against black green, so. Hopefully we get a chance to redeem. Just off Twitch. All right, I'll, I'll I'll chat with Johnny. Oh, thank you, Tom. Oh, no, are you going to do it? So they're drawing a chew. 
what they do? They keep this? Oh, they they fin they didn't know what we were doing here. All right, let's just go like this so that we can negate something. I don't think they have anything they will negate this turn, but this also turns on our hand here in the future. How are you doing tonight, Tom? All right, well, that's kind of nice for our opponent to take a turn off there. So, again, as long as we don't get Vivian, we should be okay. And we're going to be able to go, like, Teferi, untap, into negate. So we're just going to, like, go counterspell, hopefully not get whacked again. Trade my mock over the other day. Since they're pretty high, I got four lawyers, Lori Burn, and Fulminar. That was a good deal. Whoa. Moto is losing it. Those are those are good decks. My kind of guy. Wow. We're just gonna be able to walk it in here. We gotta worry about a. I'm gonna play this just to make sure that we find a Clarion because we might have to like expansion a Clarion. <clears throat> play the hero turn five and you can't dude sometimes you just need a hero hopefully they play something here doesn't look like they're going to um as nice as that is I don't actually think it's going to do us any good I'm just going to jam this Teferi and really hope we don't get Carnage Tyrant in next turn. Because this is definitely getting killed. That's all right. Okay. So we know one of their cards is a Chupacabra. So let's just hope that two out of their five are not untapped land into Carnage Tyrant. And if that's not the case, we should be there's untapped land. Don't play a Carnage Tyrant. Don't do it to me. Ugh. So I have to kill this. I can draw two, go to one, but then I have to hit an explosion. I need to hit two or my settle. I could just go down. And then that potentially buys me another turn. <coughs> I don't think I can cast the detect I don't think I can play a detection tower in my in my um whatever it is deck. This is where I just made a mistake. So I should have played one of these lands tapped. I think I'm going to put this to the bottom. Because if my opponent attacks the Teferi, this is where I punted. I should have played a tapped land. If my opponent attacks the Teferi, I look at the same number of cards. I get to look at two cards to find two cards to find one card, or I can look at three cards to find two cards. And if my opponent kills my Teferi, then um, 
then I have another draw step. Out of a out of a Jeskai deck. Corner main. All right. You got it. Gross. God, please just play like a Memorial to Folly. So we can, we got five outs. Two looks, and we got a five outer here. Not in the main deck. We got two looks at a five outer. All right, that was not it. One look at a five outer. Come on, baby. Son of a bitch. One, two, three, four, five. One, I can go. Ugh. Ugh, it's so gross. Carnage Tyrant's obnoxious. But like, but let's be real. If these green black decks didn't have Carnage Tyrant, they would never beat these Jeskai decks. Like without Carnage Tyrant, they just can't beat this card. Because look at that. I mean, I've got eight cards they have two but they have this okay right here cut these cut these I'm gonna trim down some drakes trim one of these Yeah, Vivian's a beating. Yeah, it's both pretty bad. We're bringing another negate. Because they're going to bring in more duresses or fines or things like that. More trophies if they've got them. Yeah, it's just like, I mean, it's it's tough to be. It's hard to be tough on on uh, Carnage Tyrant when you have cards like Teferi. That like, because let's be real, if these if this green black deck didn't have access to Carnage Tyrant, they would just never beat this card. Like they would just they would just get browned all the time. Uh, we have a really solid anti-creature package, but we got to hit some lands. I'm going to keep this. We have to hit lands, but we get time in this matchup as long as we can deal with a Carnage Tyrant. We have a Counterspell for a Vivian. They can't really poke a hole in our hand. Yeah, Vivian's up eating. All right, land. All right. I'm just going to be mana efficient. Trade off here. Slow them down. Jade Light Ranger, two cards entered. Memorial to Folly and Carnage Tyrant. Okay. Deal through this turn. Probably have Karn if they're playing Druids. Yeah, that's why I went to like slow them, try to slow them down with the Clarion. I wanted to save the Lava Coil for Midnight Reaper. Hmm. 
brand would be nice. It would have been. This is my Fields list. There's only one Reaper. Good to know. I'm tempted to just lava coil this. I'm fairly certain they're not going to jam this Carnage Tyrant if I just let this stay here. But I think we can just use our life total as a resource. If my opponent just wants to nug me for three, then so be it. But I guess I put the onus on them to act. How's it going, the unseen? Just not get Vivian. Smells like a Vivian. What a beating. What a beating. All right, we need to hit land drops here. A land drop is the next best thing. Now it's a land drop. Now we're back in business. Sometimes you just need a freaking hero. All right, let's just use our mana efficiently. Though this can counter um, Chupacabra if I hit a... No, I should I should have just countered it with Ionize because of the uh, Vivian. Uh, we are Joseph Brew... Winter Brew. Oh man, he had another one? Uh, now we're back on the Vivian problem. I had an answer to the Vivian. Now this Vivian's just going to kill me. Just deal with that before I can't because of Vivian. Carney T. Blech. 
this has not felt as good as it's as good as it's supposed to be. And I don't know if it's like the fact that the crackling drakes are so much worse because of Vivian. Because like I can beat this card. I can't beat this card. Put this in the graveyard, probably. Okay, a Canadian club, 12 years. Is that a beer or a liquor? All right, we're going to counter this. And we're going to rip Star of Extinction like a professional. Seven. All right, so we can still go to Fairy Down and Lava Coil not die. That's not going to do it. Whiskey. My wife drinks a lot of whiskey. And we're dead. I could have waited and, like, wrath the board. I guess I can wrath the board and then maybe try to figure something out. Please kill my Crackling Drake. Oh, they have a stupid... Yeah, I knew they had that. Now I don't think I can win. Well, I knew they had that stupid thing. They went to nine. Dude, how greedy are you? And you tap this Memorial to Folly? God, I hope I rip a star of extinction. God. Creatures you control, visual standards are not indestructible. Let's just get rid of this lava coil, I guess. Can't believe they didn't ult this. Now they're going to ult it, but. What a beating. You can have a land. Carney T. Ugh. Could have gone, I could have gone like Nova blow this up. I needed my Teferi to live. This matchup does not feel as good as it should be. And I don't know if it's Zach's version with the Crackling Drakes. Like the, with, you know, like with Crackling Drake. But we just got 0 4 by Golgari. Which does not feel good. Well, hopefully we can win the last two. Then we can open up our chests out of pity. So it's pretty good against an aggro deck on the draw. I think I'm going to keep it because we're on the draw. Like These are what we need to win on the draw. Playing Golgari. Sweepers are good. The Drakes are not. Um, they drew a memorial to folly. Okay. I don't know. I don't know if it's better or not. So, oh, this is the even worse version. This is the version with, um, like that does the Molder Hulk loop. 
that is also like really difficult to hang with. But let's go like this, clear the board. And then just start slamming some drakes here, or slamming some, yeah, slamming drakes. How many drakes are you playing? I just played exactly what Ari Lax, basically what Ari Lax posted on SCG. Wow. I'm just going to run this Drake out here. But the Drakes have not felt good this week just because I think that people are ready for it. Okay, there's Choop. Like the Drakes are, are solid against the aggro decks because they just block. Hit in the gate. Yes, yeah, so this is just like the 37 creature version of this deck. Should get premium. It only costs like eight bucks. Yeah, and they're gonna edict this. I don't know, it's just a gain for me in life. Play another one of these. And there's like basically a 100% chance we're searching. And then I'm just going to start getting in there. I actually think that we are the beatdown in this matchup. Because like they just start Molder Hulk looping. And that's so tough to beat. Yeah, that's not good either. Put that in the graveyard, yes. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, come on, Niv, you're gonna have to do some work. They're already through two Chupacabas. So like, cut me some slack, opponent. Was the list of pre-market with Brad Nelson? I don't know what you mean, Silver XMS. This is stream this last week. Yeah, he has. He whipped me. I was playing against. I was playing this version earlier. Um, if they kill this, I'm gonna want to have this back here. Look at that. Way to use the emote, Tom. Does Choop look like Phil? Phil's way fatter than the Choop. You can see the Choop's ribs here. God, you savage. I even ditched this thing here. Not even. I guess I ditched that to hit this. God. Alright, gonna block. Alright, at least they've only got one card. We're about to flip this search. I could have, I should have justice striked, I think, in response there. All right, let's. Oh, they can even loop this thing back. What a bunch of crap. I left the crackling drake back here to kind of set this up a little bit because there's definitely a chance that our opponent, um, if we attack, they see through it. God, play a carnage tyrant. What the hell is this? Enters the battlefield. It deals one damage to each opponent for each creature in your graveyard. One, two, three, four, five. What a bunch of crap. I can't even kill this because of this Memorial to Folly. Uh, no.
Yeah, we are we are flooded here. This sucks because I can't even like kill this because of this. What do I need? I need to like a counter. I have to like kill it and find a counter spell. So we're just gonna like. We're just gonna chump block it. And just dig. They only have one card. That's okay. Because we'll just shoot this with the trigger on the stack. Oh, I should have activated there. But it's a giant. I'm going to have to tuck it at some point, Tom, but I was looking for like more answers here. Tucking it is definitely going to have to happen, but I have to find a counter spell in order to have the tucking even matter. All right, there's a counter spell. Gas. Counter spells are better than removal spells against this deck. So All right, we're doing it. Could they? What a scrub. I need a Niv. I need a Niv quick. Big negative. Come on, Niv. Play this. Ah, who gives a shit? Um, we're going to put this on top because we have plenty of mana. And it's going to make a Drake larger. One, two, three, four, five. So what card's coming next? Is it the thing that's coming next? The thing is coming next. So hang on. One, two, three, four, five. Counter Izoni. One, two, three, four, five. Untap. We can't do double counter spell. How many nibs do we have? I need a nib or an expansion explosion. I don't think this deck plays contempt. I think this is like just creatures. They play like like plague crafter. The problem is, is I don't know if this card's gonna actually win me the game. Is it better than a random draw step? Like I need nib, I need explosion or a crackling drake. Is racing's the ultimate going to do it? 
How much does that giant cost? That giant costs six. One, two, three, four, five. Six. One, two, three, four, five. What was the name of that giant? Lotleth Giant. Lotleth Giant. Because the, the Lotleth Giant's on top of their deck. That costs seven. One, two, three, four. So yeah, dude, we're just gonna put this on top. We're gonna slam this. And now we're just we're going for the ultimate. Okay, so this gets back Izoni. And then we know their their top card is the troll. Plague Crafter. No way. So the last card, I'm just going to counter this. I'm going to need this Teferi to win. I still have how many Clarions left? I have a bunch of Clarions. I have three Clarions left and 30 cards. Uh. God damn it. That means the other thing's on top. So if I counter this, then I gotta counter that. I can't counter this. Blah. Niv. Niv off the top. All right, there is an explosion. What am I looking for? Yield through this turn. I'm going to blow my opponent's face off here. Glowspore Shaman. Glowspore Shaman gets back Memorial. One, two, three. <coughs> Right? Wait, wait. You put a land. Put the top three cards from your graveyard. You may put a land card from your graveyard onto the top of your library. So that means they put the memorial in. I actually have to find a Niv and kill them. So, like, this is okay. They mill three cards. They put the memorial on top. We shoot them. We're going to draw a way to kill this thing. Because they have a dead draw next turn. Okay. Gas. So we know what they're hitting next turn.
we get our boy out here. What do we even have left? We've got negates. We have deafening clarion. Yeah, my opponent's like super dead. Because their their top card's a land gas. We're so good at this fucking game. Just get out of my face. Um Get rid of this, get rid of this. I'll catch up with the chat in a second. This game has been uh, a lot. So they, they, they get the land. They play land. Perhaps this was the Black King deck. Ari, do you mean Ari Lax, or when you're talking about this? Whew. Okay. So we just have to go over the top of this deck, and I actually don't think that the... Like, I played against a guy that was playing this deck, and he said that the counter magic is better than the Wraths. Got crawl harpooner, so I'm not sure what those are. Yeah, it's a tap land. Like it's not like normal. Like they don't they don't play Vivians. It's like my searches are actually good. I don't think this is what Star is for, because they said like the rats aren't don't really matter as much. The counter spells are are what's important. So like I know I want this sinister sabotage. I know I want this expansion explosion. I almost don't want these crackling drakes. The justice strike isn't that good. Lava coil is probably fine. I bring it in against regular black green. Yeah, dude, we won. But the problem is you play all the rats and they just mold or whole clock you and it doesn't matter. I just don't want to get mold or hold. I think it seems awful on its face, but you gotta understand like how this deck works. Like when I like this deck is like a loop, a Molder Hulk loop deck. And like Ixalan's binding is actually pretty nice. Because you make so they can't cast their Molder Hulk and they can't grind you out. And like their deck works by having things die. I think I'm gonna go like this. So I think we need our nibs to try to go over the top. Probably should have cut my negate. I should cut my negate. They're all creatures, damn it. That one went over my head. I should have cut my negates. I actually don't think negate has a target. They might play fine finality, but. We're going to keep this and we're going to hit. We're going to hit something like a like a professional. 
I have to play quickly also. I'm very far down on time. That game was insane though. I'm really surprised I won that. Apparently Harpooner is good for us. So that likely means there's a second. But we can also like if we binding a harpooner when they only have like nib as ways to or the sat creature as ways to get nib off the board. There's the Midnight Reaper. We're gonna be suiciding a lot of Teferis. I'm just gonna binding this Reaper. Of binding this Reaper. Hopefully, they don't play another creature. Then I can tuck a Reaper. Oh. Alright, so they play Reclamation Sage. I'm not, this is the first time I've seen a Reclamation Sage out of this deck. And we're dead. Alright, well, at least we're going to have time for game three. I have to get the negate out of my deck. The negate is not good. And if they're gonna play the reclamation stage, maybe I should just like play a million rats and just try to fight through it. These shouldn't be in here. We're just like gonna go like this. We're like screw these bind. I don't even know. This deck is this deck is so weird. Yeah. All right, we're gonna try this. This deck is odd. I would like to play first. I would like to mulligan. I would like to keep. And it's not a land goes on the bottom. We're gonna put that on top. We're gonna be on slow mo though. Spore Shaman is good. An untapped land there would have been sweet. Because then we could counter a Midnight Reaper. Come on, take a turn off. Take a turn off. Please take a turn off. Yes. All right, find a land. Not a land. Find me a land. Not a land. Oh, okay, you got it with the Stitcher Supplier. Alright, now we gotta take the. Okay, 
Can I win this game? Can I actually win this game if I don't hit my land drops? But I can I win this game taking seven? Probably not. And they're just like jokes on you, Mulder Hulk. Fucking A. Why do I do this to myself? Don't you have much experience with what they think that just draw for round three and catch you up? Yeah, Clarion's big. We're just dead. We could hit a. What a beating. What an ass kicking that was. Let's go over here, chat about the deck. For a second. It is not. So I think I think that there's something that's got to be done here. And while, like, this aspect of the Jeskai deck is very good here, I think that these Crackling Drakes are nonsense. Because, like, they are very good against the aggro decks. Because if you go Drake plus Clarion, or, you know, in any, in any way there, you're going to beat the aggro decks. But I am not beating Black Green with any sort of regularity. Which is not good. When the blue deck loses to the, the black green deck, like there's something wrong going on here. So, oh, let me fix this thing up here so y'all can see this. I'll have to look through the five O's and such. Because I do want to play these two cards here. But and I don't maybe these crackling drakes are meant to be in the sideboard. Like maybe we're supposed to have a like a plan here where we've got two expansions in the main deck, something like you know maybe a little more counter magic, maybe turn this into a little bit more of a control deck versus um versus like what is going on here, you know. Because while this is very while this one two punch here is very good against aggro decks, it is just an absolute liability against black green. And losing to black green is just not what I want to be doing in my life. So, but I will see you all later. I appreciate you showing up. I will probably be streaming tomorrow, and we'll probably be streaming some Death Shadow. Get something new going on. So. I will see y'all later, and I hope everyone has a good rest of their night.